All right, so we want to, from our example, predict the reduction in blood pressure if 250 is the dosage of the drug. Now, before we do, let's just go back for a minute. Um, at the beginning, and I'm going to go back a couple of slides, at the beginning of the section, we were looking at correlation for the dosage of drug and reduction in blood pressure example, and we identified that the correlation coefficient was 0.99728. That's a strong positive linear correlation. Remember, if it's close to 1, it's a strong positive linear correlation. Or if it's greater than 0.75, we say it's strong. This fact, along with the scatter plot, shows that we have a linear regression. So um, there's our scatter plot for this. All right, now, uh, in your homework, you're going in your lab, you're going to learn how to um, how to get the um, the b sub one and the b sub zero that goes into your linear regression formula. We are not going to do that by hand. It's a long, very tedious process. So you'll notice though that here's the equation to the regression line. So there's our little data points right here. You can barely see them because the regression line is over the top of it. But there's the equation of that line written right there. And this has been generated by StatCrunch, this picture has. All right, so we're going to use that equation, y equals negative 3.4 plus 0.118x, to answer the question that we just started this video with. All right, so I'm going to take this to another page so we can work this out, but we're going to look at when the drug dosage is um, 250. All right, so here's our regression equation. We are just going to plug 250 in where x is, and we're going to work it out. So if I plug 250 right here and then let my calculator do the work there, I get 26.1. Now it's always wise to kind of look back at the graph and see if this is a reasonable answer. So if we look back at the original um, plot that we had, let me go back here to our, um, so we were looking at a drug dosage of 250, which would be right about there. And we got 26 and that's right in there. And that certainly looks like it's light right along uh, the right place for the dosage of this drug. Um, so there we have it. If we want to predict, we use our regression equation, plug in our independent variable, and then we get the answer to the dependent variable. In this case, the amount of reduction in blood pressure from that dosage of 250.